reveal our book and our author? Well, I would love to. I don't want to knock it over. How do I do this? Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> it's by Ned Vizzini. Be more chill. Ned Vizzini, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So when you found out that you were chosen by Judy Bloom to be on our book club, what, what did that make you feel like? Well, it was a particular honor for me because as a young person, one of the first pieces of media I came in contact with that told me, your family's okay, Ned, there are other weird families like you were <laughs> Judy Bloom's books. So up until that point, I thought we were really off the wall, and she showed me that I was a little bit normal, a little. <laughs> you know, the, the family in this book is as crazy as everything is, and wonderful, and mm -hmm. original, and nuts. But the family is a loving family, and, and um, and the kid is a very lovable kid, after all. Well, tell us, what, what is Be More Chill about? Be More Chill is about a guy in high school who gets a supercomputer in his brain that tells him how to be cool all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's called a squip. And once you eat it, it gives you real-time social advice. It tells you what clothes to wear, what girls to talk to, everything. So he's walking through high school with the real-time advice coming in and he becomes the coolest guy in school. But with, with being cool comes a certain price, doesn't it? Absolutely. Well, the Squip is a piece of technology, so it tends to mess up like all technologies do. <laughs> Sometimes it tells Jeremy to do things that are just totally wrong, and he has to learn to live with it. And there's the ultimate question of whether you really want to be cool, you know, in a false way. Um, but there's also just a lot of really funny, crazy stuff that happens in the book. So this is your second book. You're 23 years old. Uh, is it is it easier do you think writing about the t in the team voice because you're you're a lot closer to it than either Judy or myself? Well, it's fun. I think it's it's great to write for teenagers. Not only because I'm young, but also because uh, there's something very primal about high school. I think it's sort of the most the most raw social arena we have. It's where we learn to be people, you know, as we're going through school. So um, I like focusing on it. There's just a lot of drama there. What are you, what's going to be next? I'm sure this book now is going to be a huge success. Judy's picked it. <laughs> are you already working on another novel? Yeah, I'm already working on another book, and um, it's going to be done soon. And it covers some of the same issues, but this one has a talking um, cartoon character elephant. So we, <laughs> we like to go with the bizarre. It's kind of the world I live in, and um, uh, uh, it'll be out soon. How about you, Judy? Do you, I mean, do you still enjoy writing for, uh, for those, those kids who love your books? The question is, do I still enjoy writing? Did I ever enjoy writing? Do uh, well. I enjoy I enjoy seeing the books on the shelf and knowing that I wrote them. But while I'm doing it, it's it's very hard for me. It's really? always been still. It's it's much harder now. Why? Because it's harder to be spontaneous after so many books and mm -hmm. so many years. And and that spontaneity, you know, that that new fresh voice is what it's all about. So. Uh, I want to go back now. My next project will be for very young children, and I like I like little kids. I connect, you know. Introduce me to a four-year-old, and I'm right there. I'm four. That's great. Well, Judy Bloom, Ned Bazzini, congratulations, Ned. Thank you. Thanks and to a you lot. two on the honors. Thank Judy. you That's so wonderful. much. And we come back. We're on the road to Cap Jaluka. But first, this is today on NBC.